Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, I decided I might try to do one more episode for today, just for you guys. Maybe come back tomorrow, and then do another. Only unfortunate thing is, is that I sort of remembered is getting very close to New Year's, and I haven't done a New Year's uh, thing yet, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I know some people do like the best of like 2020, stuff like that, you know, funny videos, but seeing as I don't have access to any of that content anymore, besides what's already posted, I don't feel like downloading it. At least in my personal opinion. So in overall, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'll just post like a New Year's update, stuff like that. I, j I just don't know, man. But let's go ahead and talk to Alpha now and see what's going on. If I remember right, I think we ended the last episode getting the Zayla on our side, and then we came back to the House Fias, regrouped with everybody, did some side missions, so let's go and see what Alpha now has to get into. My Lord Hien wishes to discuss the details of our plan very well. If he insists, I shall summon the others at once. Ah, that's what I remember. Lord Hien said to go on ahead while well, he thinks. As with Gojin, I believe one of their emissaries was already in route. Nevertheless, I shall contact them to make certain. May I present the Blue Cogent's Emissary? <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Soravan, it's good to have you with us. If, uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Sorban. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Kojin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft. Could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. Uh, plans there. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. 
We shall fight, and we shall prevail. Oh, now I'm tired. Oh god, I think my coffee's wearing off. That's dangerous. Not all the laws why I'm in no position to speak against it. No plan is perfect, and if there's ever room for improvement, I expect my comrades will be refining their approach until the moment they begin. In case you're unaware, the other Jonin will lead the assault on Moongates, not I. My place is at Lord Hien's side. Oh, the Lord yet. There's nothing else. I head back to Namai. Uh, Sarnuki's working hard, and Izzy's doing what he can to help. I mean, there is there's more than I can do too. He was like a different person when he began hammering those plates. Younger, brighter, full of life and hope. Plan is set, and all that can be done is done. Rest and relaxation are now paramount for tomorrow. We may die. Have you not done enough? Will you not pause a moment to gather yourself on the eve of a grand design? Go not into battle with weary eyes or lingering crits, my friend. Oh. The Austrian levels are kicking in. So our bond informs me that the Savers will be ready within a day, which means that we can proceed as planned and attack Doma Castle tomorrow. Considering the key role you will play, I think it's only prudent that you refrain from further labors and rest until tomorrow. Agreed? No rest for the righteous. Far be it for me to refuse. True enough, true enough. When you have seen to your sundry task and are ready to retire, pretty let me know. Oh. I'll speak again in the morning. Take care, my friend. I was actually just hoping I could just sit there and skip it. My character does not sleep. You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like, like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe finally, something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won, and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Alphano and Alize. Quietly, of course. Oh god, they're both out. Ha! Oh, another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Hmm. Good. Good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Ah, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. 
We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first, a defeat at the hands of the Empire 25 years past and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me of all people for my unborn child, he said. For my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. That I yet live. Having known such disgrace is an affront to the Kami themselves. Yet you, all of you, saw fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance. To serve a greater purpose. Thank you for pitying an old fool. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. He is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. <laughs> he always knows. Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. Oh. Jesus, the ten minutes already passed. Oh my God. Here she is. I trust you are none the worse for wear at the last night. We received confirmation from the Koja not long ago. The sappers stand at the ready and await our signal. Let us not keep them and the others waiting. Gather your things. We depart at once. Alpha Noah struggle East and the others move into position and launch their attack. Our scouts report no change of Imperial disposition, but I would leave nothing to chance. I must uh, act quickly, let loose, we lose the element of surprise. Understood, I will relay your orders to her and rejoin my unit. Guzetsu and Yugiri await the two of you at Monzen. Good luck, my friends. I will see you both again soon. All right, time to go back to where we were. Gotta go fast. Now the entire point of me running all the way back here is to meet up with the friends and do things. 
to then run all the way back out there to do the exact same thing that I was already doing, which is talking to Hien. Fun stuff, fun stuff. It's the only bad thing. I don't know how much of this is just me running around content-wise, and how much of this is actually me showing story. I mean, in theory, I could cut all this out, but what would be the fun in that? Especially for you guys. Maybe you don't know where you're going and you need advisements. Simply follow the map, follow the road, and you will always arrive at your destination. Or if you're like me, you get lost once in a while because you take a left turn instead of a right. Those are fun. Always fun. I will say this much though, I do love this portion of the game. This is when it starts to get really good. Like, I, I don't know. Then drift from the packs, often members of small independent parties. Man, I know we're getting closer and closer to the end of part two. I know, I think I have a general consensus when part two ends. So when we get to that end, it's going to be great. Between this and part three. Oh, and now we wait. We dream to this day a chance for freedom, for liberation, for redemption, after 25 years of regret. These will contact us once the attack has begun, after which the others will carry out their allotted task. Our pod comes at last. Understood. Wish us luck. Right. You all know what you have to do. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Ready to show them what a good job they made of breaking us. I feel like nobody's wearing armor. Then what are you waiting for? Move out! <sighs> Why must we waste our time guarding this blasted... Hmm? How are you wearing the armor you're Tell supposed to go? Luminous is under attack! Armed insurgents have breached the perimeter! We need reinforcements! You need your troops at the goddamn front door with the gate shut, you moron. <laughs> Well, at least kick that poor bastard in the face. Again, I don't get that. Like, why wouldn't you have any guards posted? It's just like, yeah, we're just going to stand around inside the camp, but we're not going to put anybody outside the camp to make sure there's nobody coming in. This is Lee's. Imperial forces converging on our position. Looks like we've got their attention. We'll be sure to keep them busy for as long as we can. She'll kick all their asses. Lisa's getting the dub. Oh, you're coming to Zayla. Look at their flying birdies. Now they're pissed. Ah, war! To wield power, to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. A pity I must share this pleasure with a feral dog of a Dothal. Preening, Oranir! You fear that she will put the sun in shade! Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. That's their helicopter. I 
I don't get how that flies. The logic makes no sense. Those things are worthless. Really worthless. <laughs> Come to me! Come to your death! With each that falls, my soul soars higher! Swiftly, brothers! Fall not behind! Make an offering of their steel to Father Azim! Oh no, it's worse. Her having her magic or the fact he can use a flying hammer and beat the crap out of them? <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. I don't they? My lord, the barrier! They must have hit but it, it should fall so soon. Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. Nah, I bet Alphano just hit it. Actually, wait a minute. Alphano hitting it's probably low. Alize probably hit it. Or kicked it real The Magitech good. field is down. I repeat, the Magitech field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. Ah, oh, look, there it is, the Navy. Yeah, when they got cannons. That's a big boom. I bet those were the sappers. Jesus. Good job. The wall is breached. The Kojin too will not be outdone. Our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. With me! Let's go kick their asses. My lady! The riverside wall has been breached. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. So I gathered. You would tear the whole thing down. All for the promise of freedom. A noble sacrifice. For the last desperate flailings of a fool. Speaking of which, how fares my route? The... the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Owlith. By all indications, it was a success. Is that so? Then he may yet be of some use. Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? Their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade, leaving naught but ash. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Doma falls, none shall be spared his wrath. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. As you command, my lady. <sighs> Again they come to make you kneel. To make you grovel and suffer. But you have endured their worst and survived. You know their tricks? They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. I 
feel like she's seen some things. Maybe her parents were more abusive than we originally thought. Eww, abusive. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Alright, that they have secured the Enclave, we meet, need not fear for this villain's safety. We've done the water surges through the broken masonry and the flood. Uh, the council even as we speak, though my heart breaks at the sight of it, I must be strong, always for the sake of Dolma. Uh, there is no doubt, the Viceroy is trapped, and so comes our part. Our Cogent allies will deliver us to our destination, to the Western Dark, and do not forget to bring your fellow adventurers, I mean. I hate where I bring my fellow adventurers, but in reality, I'm just bringing my fellow warriors of light. Isn't that funny to think about? Oh. Although I think I am going to play this one out. I wasn't thinking about it originally, but you know what? I'm going to play them out. I actually want to get this done today. So this one is actually going to be a very extended episode for you. Very extended, because there's a lot i got to record and everything. I'll just have to remind myself that I should also do the, um, uh, what you might call it, the, uh, whatever that would call it. I don't remember. Castle thus defaced, and by our hands hard, it is enough to make me smile to laugh at the sheer absurdity of it. It's not the end, but it is an ending. Soon, soon, I will be free. When I laid the Delvin refugees at Eorzea, I, I did so only with the intention of sinking sanctuary. The thought of enlisting you and yours to aid us in another rebellion did not cross my mind once, and I accidentally skipped it. Yet here we stand, shoulder to shoulder, ready to strike at the heart of the occupation, and has been, never will be, an order I mean. I can only imagine the chaos inside the castle to be trapped by the rising waters and know the enemies at their gates. They will fight us with every ounce of their strength, as we will uh, them, for the eye history are upon us. Greetings and well met, my friends. Climb aboard, climb aboard. There's room enough for you all. Idaheen would prove our success. We will divide into two parties. One uh, upon arrival, one comprising you and your adventurers, comrades. The other, Gazetsu, Yugiri, and myself. Each went to the uh, keep via separate route, dispatching any Imperial forces that attempt to bar their path. Even should we meet with misfortune, the other will reach you, Yotsuyo. Agreed? Yes. Then let us be about it. For Doma. All right, guys. With that, we're gonna go ahead and start Doma Castle up. Sixteen minutes. It's gonna be a toughie. Well, you know what? I sat there and said I was gonna do it. Extended episode for yins. So, uh, everybody, when we come back. Uh, hopefully the jump cut comes to conclusion and we're going to be starting up Doma Castle. I'll see you when the jump cut comes to an end. See you then. Alright boys, we're in. We gotta wait for one person, our mage. Our tank. Please, tank, ready up for love of Christ. Ready up, you bastard. Ready up for the love of God. Thank the Lord. Had an episode. We're in the Duke. Oh, the inner city, the inner work in this place is amazing. Oh no, he's just me. Very, very pissed. Alright, let's get this place. Put him on the ass. It feels funny that I always feel like I'm the one interacting first. I don't say hello anymore. It's just, I feel like I should. 
not a big robot. Hope he runs fast. But no, no, no. Where's that heal at? Okay, this guy, I actually don't remember how to fight him. Runs the same route. I had kind of bad memories from that one. I knew it was like some weird AoE attacks, but I couldn't remember on the top of my head exactly how it worked. Right, I think there's cannons coming up. Yep. Figured I had a good feeling on that. I'm going along right. It's safer that way. Yeah, I don't know why they went for the cannons like this. They're kind of weird. I mean, I, I guess from a player's standpoint, I guess it's just another obstacle to make you kind of, you know, think before you run. Free 
Focus my attacks on it. Take an attack. I think we get another one of those. Yeah, there's, there's that attack. Uh, I have Fia. I need Fia. I feel like those attacks are going to get more and more weird. Also, I've come to the conclusion that I, I don't like squad. I tried playing it earlier with the rest of the people when I got killed. I haven't playing that game ever again. I haven't tried it again. I don't even know if Red knows I returned it. I didn't say anything at the time. He like disappeared for like five or ten minutes. I was like, you know what? I don't really like this game. I can play Hell Let Loose. Hell Let Loose is a little bit... It's slightly more casual. It kind of reminds me like of an older Call of Duty to where like its gameplay isn't necessarily bad. That or like an old Battlefield. So it's like, if you're bad, it's not bad. It, it works. So I can play it and have fun. Even if I played it by myself, even if I don't do well, I, I have a general idea of what the hell's going on. In squad, it's just like a big and chaotic mess, and I can't stand it. I, I, I've resolved myself that I'm never playing it again. Like, at the moment, Red's like, hey, you wanna play squad again? I'm just gonna be like, no. It's like, why? I'm like, whatever, thank you. I'm using that to be like, oh, no, no, no.
Oh no. Yeah, not bad. I think we got the bonus. Good. Give that to everybody real quick. The only person I don't think has is Manifesto, and they're already further ahead. Time to get ready for our one boy again. Oh my god, he got a chainsaw. Ripman's Kill! Also, I'm 100% serious, he has a chainsaw. I got as far away from that as I can. That's pretty cool. Oh no, he's got the spinning top thing. Hell no, I didn't hear that. Die, die, die! Oh, no. Get that edge, man. We go together. Uh, that player. Right? Just... Wait a minute, I think we're in the clear. He's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. Oh boy, you got it. Great team, great team. Hmm. Look for that person. Oop, I just got free stuff and I didn't even want it. It's always nice getting free stuff. Thank you, teammates. Appreciate it. Ah, the already made it. Have you aught to say for yourself? For what you have done to our people? Your people? <laughs> My people, he says. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch. My parents thought me no better. They woke me from dawn to dusk like an ox or an ass or some other beast of burden. Until, that is, my brother spied a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to a vicious old drunk who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family, for him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew. What did it matter? I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Doman. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debt. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself, to survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. 
No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the pleasure house. I would be free and receive due compensation. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the road, beaten and broken. And my heart, my heart skipped to me. Lying at my feet, groaning in agony, sobbing in despair. Powerless, helpless, hopeless. A vision forever seared into my soul. Oh! There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again. To bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. <sighs> now, having borne witness to my life's work, have you ought to say to me? <laughs> Twas kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete-a-tete -tete with a final game of chance. I can bet you almost a hundred dollars. How I'd be willing to roll, like, bet a fortune that the average player of this game had no idea what the hell a tete-a-tete -tete is. Even I still don't understand that. I'm assuming it's a soiree. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Let the die be cast. This was her plan from the first, to bring the keep down on our heads! Neat. Cut a bullet in half, he's got balls of steel. I will remember your words. We must flee. Order our forces to withdraw. Oh, that's a big ass ceiling. Oh, so this is what Resident Evil felt like. Well, I'm not crushed. Holy bastard. Go, my lord! While you still can! I cannot hold it forever! No! We will not leave you behind! Do your duty! Deliver Lord Hien and the others to safety! Now! Forthwith! I shall manage on my own! No one leaves. Not you or anyone else. You are one creepy ass bitch. Time to leave? Tis not this old frame cannot bear. Go now, all of you. The day is won. And the morrow beckons.
This is an over. Thank you. I'll go for a thank you. Nay, thank you for granting me new purpose and a measure of peace. Gosetsu. You never failed us. Not once. You served my father faithfully. And I'm a better man for your guidance. And the Doma we built together shall be better for it too. Be proud, my friend. Be proud. I am, Shun. More than you know. Hien! Hien! I mean, we gotta go. <laughs> this man's been holding up a freaking ceiling for like five minutes now. How merciful the gods that I should find you in time. Kasetsu? We must turn back now before it is too late. Oh, damn. They've set a lot of bombs in there. Oh, the bombs in there. Is that about rebuilding the castle? I don't think we should rebuild it. Eyes forward, Cyrano. That was his wish. Personally, I say build I a new one. Need you to say it. The others are waiting. Damn. Definitely build a new castle. Right there. Ian. Not talking. Sniffle. He was right. The day is won. The people must know. What happened in there? Where's Gozetsu? Tell me it was not, not for nothing. Victory is ours, is it not? Then why are you all so quiet? Because we lost one of our boys. Alright guys, well... Fortunately... Everything must come to a close eventually. Actually, wait, is that castle still gone? Oh yeah, that castle gone. Alright. But, uh, as I sat there and said before, I gave you guys a bit of an extended episode for this one. Just because it was the uh, Doma Castle and... I felt like it deserved an extended episode since we pretty much went through the beginning with some discussions and I was just like, well, I don't want to have all this antsy anticipation up to then give you guys a second episode of this. I was just like, that doesn't seem fair. You guys didn't get any action this time around. This time, you got a fair bit of story and a fair bit of action. Uh, the one thing is, is I have to keep reminding myself, eventually at some point I have to go back, even all the way through back to Heaven's Board and do the goddamn cutscenes. I actually stopped at the Nog, and then I completely lost track of where I was at, and I never cared enough to go back and do it. Um, so in theory, if I go back to do this again, I actually have to run back to one of the inns, 
to then do the cutscenes for the recordings. I'll do them eventually, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, this is... I I gotta tell you, I, that, that's why I wanted to do this one. I love the Dome of Count, uh, Castle one. Um, it's a good fight. I like seeing the story. The only thing I, I find kind of weird is the fact that Yotsuyu has her gun on her. Nobody's questioning this. It's a big gun. Um, and the fact that it has more than one shot, but it looks like a flintlock. I guess it's because it's a magic tech weapon. I guess it has more than one shot, which kind of makes sense in its own right. But then I question how many rounds are in the magazine. Or how the hell that works. It's kind of weird. Um, besides that, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to talk about. Um, between that... I kind of wanted to see why the one guy got the, um, the one scout guy. I, I kind of wanted to know why he got that operation done. They don't really go into it. They kind of skip over it. You never see anything to get involved in it. So you only find out whenever you're attacking Doma that he got that operation done to get all the bigger weapons and stuff attached to him. Uh, besides that, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the fact that Guzetsu sits there and holds a freaking ceiling over us for a good five minutes while everybody's talking. It, it seems kind of weird we sat there for that long. I don't mind it. It just, it's just kind of like, it's a freaking ceiling. You ain't holding that bitch for that long, even with his built body. I mean, I guess you could sit there and say he's a big son of a bitch. Of course he gonna hold it, but yeah, kind of weird. Then he gets shot multiple times. Still weird. So with that, guys, all I gotta sit there and say is this: please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. When we come back, we'll tell uh, other friends, because only three of us know so far. Uh, so actually, no, there'd be four of us. I only know that Gozetsu has fallen in battle, and that he sacrificed himself for us. Uh, hey look, another player joined. Welcome. So, I will be seeing you guys next time. Thanks.